and you'll want to be aware of the air. We're experiencing unhealthy levels of pollution for the young, the old, and people with breathing problems. With a code orange alert due to temperature inversions increasing ground level ozone. It's also been stinky out there because of high hydrogen sulfide levels. So multiple things are happening in the air at once, and it's keeping people who care about air quality very busy this week. They're asking what is going on and how can it be prevented in the future? There's something unpleasant in Allegheny County's air. We have different types of pollution happening simultaneously uh, right now. The air quality hasn't been great, and it's been smelly the past couple days. Higher levels of emissions from our industrial facilities that release particles. Um, and then um, part of those industrial processes, particularly in steel making and coke making, is the release of hydrogen sulfide. That's the stuff that smells like rotten eggs. Hydrogen sulfide exceeded the state standard in Allegheny County Sunday and Monday. That's now happened 38 times this year. Allegheny County's hydrogen sulfide dashboard shows the highest levels in the last 12 months at 3 a.m. Monday in Liberty. And in fact, it, those levels, um, in addition to the particles that came out at the same time, had our air shed as the number one worst air shed in the country. For this Tuesday, the smell pgh.org map is filled with dark red triangles. Those are highest rated smell reports on the scale. It is a quality of life issue for, for people, especially as they, I mean, anywhere downwind um, of, of Clarendon Coke Works. And so uh, it keeps people awake at night. Tuesday is also a code orange air quality action day with ozone above level 100. Because it's a hot, humid air mass that traps these chemicals uh, in the atmosphere that causes all of this. They both said the Allegheny County Health Department has been issuing violations and fines, but maybe stronger actions need to occur, like requiring facility upgrades, maintenance, and pollution control technologies. Those kinds of actions might actually begin to, uh, to move the needle on preventing these kinds of experiences. U.S. Steel has been fined in the past for high-level exceedances of air emission standards for hydrogen sulfide at Clareton Coke Works. A U.S. Steel spokesperson sent us a statement tonight saying, in part, the region experienced a temperature inversion during the early part of the week. U.S. Steel followed the episode response plan mandated by the Allegheny County Health Department, as it always does during inversions.